friends like most indie bands Art at the moment Like Snow Patrol I'm trying to remember another one But Snow Patrol is on my mind at the moment Because they're absolute shite Absolute shite The Kooks the Fatalities The Fatalities The Center They're actually interesting because they're fucking not The Axe Axe Is there a cock in the ear? La Rue Even though she's like La Rue And yes, Lady Gaga is very repetitive and fucking annoying because she's not indie yeah, but you have to admit there is no real filler songs in any of our albums. There I'm is. talking about bands that sometimes have loaded, have only one good single, and then the rest of the album is absolute trash. Eh, hard work. Like a demo. Their first album was so bad I couldn't even listen to it, and I've listened to an absolute piece of shite before, like Queen and Paul Rogers. Rogers. Um, the Cosmos Rock. Oh well, like, they deserve a cosmic cock in the air for making up a big giant abomination of a fucking album. They deserve to die. Like when Brian May was on that um, thing with John Barman, that program where they, they like do things for people, like they let them sing a song or they sh like, just take them out the back and shoot them in the head. Uh, uh, yeah, Brian May was there uh, singing with some blonde woman. Did a guitar solo, looks like an absolute old bastard. Nothing has changed except not even his guitar playing has even progressed through the years. It's just as dull as and dire as he has ever been. At least Freddie Mercury was there to kind of glitz it up a little bit. Ow, my so, fingers hurt. I've got nothing more to add. If this was faster, it would sound like a bird drum song. <laughs> Not even Artie in anywhere. Not even Om um could make this really, really simple bass line interesting. And they make most simple bass lines interesting because Om um rule. It's kind of like you know that Pink Floyd song, set the heart controls for the heart of the song. Basically, they do a cover of it non stop. There's only two of them in the band, I think they broke up now. Ever since they released it, an EP called God is Good, which he isn't. That, that, that's just plain and simple because he doesn't even exist and even if he did exist he would be an absolute wanker the songs turned out to be more interesting than most of the songs on the album already for some reason it's sounding quite dark even though most filler songs don't really have any effect at all I'm really going to have to amplify most of this so this is the end the end my friends, yeah. might as well just okay. be white noise.